Welcome GG crew to the G Gamer channel. I'm your host for tonight, Chubby Cherub, and this is Undertale. What a tiny doghouse. Oh. Let's see if I remember how we beat, or how I need to beat this. <laughs> Here we died last time. It's Greater Dog. It's the Greater Dog. I'm sorry, I misspoke. I love how his armor and his spear both have a little puppy face on it. We start with Beckon! It bounds towards you. Gosh, why can't I dodge that? It's stupid. Rare Dog is seeking affection. Greater Dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Uh, okay. Greater dog is... Pat, what? I, panting? Pating? Padding? I think it was padding. I just wanted to say panting for some reason. You make a snowball and throw it. It splats on the ground. Greater Dog picks up the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now Dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh gosh, that shouldn't be that hard. Greater Dog wants some TLC. Uh, pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movements slow. But you still haven't pet enough. Oof. Hey, no damage. Pet capacity is 40%. Guess we're just gonna keep petting then. Your capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops, so flops over with its legs in the air. Oh, I wasn't moving! For the love of... <sighs> Rare dog is content. And that's how you do it, boys and girls. We got through it. Oh, little nose kisses. Whoa, that's a long bridge. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the Godlet of Deadly Terror! Oh, yep, that's Deadly Terror. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the holdup? Holdup? What holdup? I'm. I'm about to activate it now! That... Uh... Doesn't look very active. Well... This challenge... It seems... Maybe... Too easy... To defeat the human with. Yeah! We can't use this one! I have a skeleton with standards! My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Anyway, it goes. Phew. 
What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> no bother. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Somehow, I feel like you're an old friend. Even though I've never actually met you before. I can't explain it, why I feel this way. Did I meet you online? I have many social media connections. It's hard to keep track of them all. Just a dozen more and I've finally reached double digits. Hey, wait a second. You can't be my friend. You're human. I can't believe you almost tricked me into not defeating you. Whoopsie doopsie. Papyrus blocks the way. We got check, insult, and flirt. Interesting. What? F flirting? So you finally revealed your ultimate feelings. W well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make the spaghetti? Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later. After I capture you. Oh, that's perfect. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Again. Oh no! Let's date later after I capture you. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. Papyrus attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, Nyeh heh heh. Definitely one of the easier fights so far. Papyrus stabs some bone cologne behind his ear. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't accelerate this battle. See, that's a useful hint for when I don't know what else the game wants me to do. Okay, so no more flirting. Let's date later! After I capture you. Papyrus stabs mar marinara sauce behind his ear. So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Well, I guess I don't really have to dodge if I just stay still, right? Oh, well, that's mean. Oh, I'm heavier. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah. 
You're blue now. Oh, even my heart's blue down there. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Oh gosh, it's so much heavier now. Oh no. Papyrus Dad's MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. So I guess we'll just keep sparing you? What am I about? What? I'm not thinking about going on dates or anything. Oof. I feel like I'm not jumping high enough. Pyrus Dab's MTT brain cute juice behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh, for the love of... That's not great. Papyrus stabs MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity. Wow, you really gotta time those jumps, otherwise you're falling too early. Papyrus stabs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. We have nice cream, bicycle, bandage. You eat one half of the bicycle. You recover 11 HP. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Oh gosh, what evil Flappy Bird puzzle was that? Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti. Stop. Oh, that's oh, that's what hit me last time. Was it came from the other side? Smells like bones. Undan will be really proud of me. Oof. I don't like being that close to the edge on this bike. We'll swap it up and shoot a bone from that direction. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh, this is bull. Smells like bones. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. Oh gosh, yeah, you kind of have to jump back and forth with that one. Papyrus is cackling. Another unicycle. You eat the unicycle. You recovered 11 HP. I'll have lots of admirers, but Oh come on, that was an easy one to dodge. Uh, uh, oh, see, can't go high enough. Papyrus is cackling. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Shh. Small jump. Oh, now they're moving. That's, that's just mean. Papyrus is still cackling. Someone like you is really rare. Oh, that's just, oh, those are evil. Oh, so evil. Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. And dating might be kind of hard. Stop, jump, stop. Ugh. Oh, for the love of... Papyrus is preparing a bone attack.
after you've captured, after you're captured and sent away. Oh, come on, stay high. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. I have another bicycle. That's interesting. Bandage, nice cream. You eat one half of the bicycle. You recovered 11 HP. Ah! Who cares? Give up! Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, this is so unfortunate. Smells like bone. Give up! Or face my special attack! Oh, that's mean. Ah! Oh. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Yeah! Very soon, I will use my special attack! Oh, come on, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. The pirate is trying hard to play cool. You eat the unicycle. You recover 11 HP. Not too long, and I will use that special attack. Oh, come on. <laughs> Papyrus is rattling his bones. This is your last chance before my special attack. Oh gosh, you you almost can't. So I guess the free fall also counts as getting hit as moving for blue attack. Behold, my special attack. Oh. That's my special attack? Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Ah, <sighs> here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh, I still got hit by it. Oh, come on. No, no. Oh. Oh, I came back. Cool. Dude. Oh. Just a bone on a skateboard. Oh, what kind of bull crap is that? Oh. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or, as Sands calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> oh, so he won't kill me. He, he will just put a stop to the fight. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry. I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nearfully yours, Papyrus. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's too small to sleep on. It's a squeaky chew toy. This doesn't really look like a garage. Or a shed.
Yeah, because garages would have the larger door at the very least. Yeah, I, I'm calling it a shed. I'm sticking with shed. Oh, goodness. I suppose this proves what I said. We really are bound together. Two bones in the skeletal anatomy of fate. That's how you appear here now. Even though it's very impossible for you to escape. Amazing! I feel a sincere... Wait a second! I still have to capture you! Whoopsie doopsie. Papyrus blocks the way. So we have our red heart again. Okay. So now it... Uh, now a lot of these voice lines are just going to be the same. And it's... Yeah, we just have to make it through. We just have to make it through and not get hit by the end. Um... Because I believe we just have to wait him out. Um... Because that's how the, we're doing our true pacifist run. And so we don't want to hurt him. Although I think technically we can. It's easier if we stay consistent and just not, <laughs> not hurt him in any way. And it'll just, yeah, we just got to wait it out. Um, and that's how we beat him or befriend him technically. Here we go, starting about the special attack. Yeah, so just gotta get good, son. Just gotta get good. Oh, it was Marinara Sauce. Okay, that was a line I was 100% sure of. Marinara Sauce. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh. And yeah, it's one of those things that's harder. I mean, maybe watching it, you you understand what's going on with the blue heart, where now as a blue heart, uh, it's like there's actual gravity, because um, typically w when you're playing, you have freedom to really just move the heart anywhere within the square. Uh, when you're a blue heart, it's like gravity has been turned on, and so the heart naturally just wants to go back to the bottom. And so you're jumping, and it seems like you you can only really jump so high, although he's claiming we can jump higher um, by holding up. Uh, the problem being, a lot of these attacks are from above, above, below, and they, they're alternating si sides very quickly. So, it's just a fight to be very attentive to. It's not really even that hard. I know we keep getting hit, but it's not that bad of a fight. It just... Gotta watch out. <laughs> um, but it is fun, because this is one of the first fights that feels very different. I still gotta get the timing of this attack. It's funny how the attacks being parallel means you have to find the break uh, in between them. Here that goes. I wonder if it's easier if you just kind of keep jumping. You gotta get the timing right, but if you keep jumping in one spot, I bet you get it. Because trying to jump back and forth, even just that hesitation to keep us from falling is messing up the timing. And I think that's why we keep getting hit on that one. These ones you just gotta get good. <laughs> and uh, figure out when to move your stick over 
to actually get through the columns. Yeah, the, the short one's oddly difficult. Just because it, it's hard to... Because you can't just cancel the jump. You, you, you have to move the trigger right as you jump to skate by. And then these ones are just awkward as well. That's just a timing. Papyrus preparing a boat attack. If you haven't done so already, uh, go ahead and bone that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. By the time this video comes out, uh, we would have we miraculously hit our uh, first thousand subscribers, and that's a big deal for us here at the G Gamer Channel. And yeah, the game can be a little unforgiving with how hard it hits. You really just have to get good and not like get hit at any of the dumb ones and hopefully you're not too taken aback for when they mess up the order of operations of uh, how this game works. Jeez, what was that? Oh, come on. But Pyrus remembered a bad joke, Sans told and is now frowning. That's a different line. Well, that one's fine. With how popular the music um, of this game tends to be, I'm surprised more uh, YouTube players don't get uh, copyright um, strikes for their music. Because it's not like there's any other dialogue that kind of breaks up the sound other than my own. And I know YouTube systems can be kind of harsh on any kind of music being played that you don't own. I had a hell of a time uh, over on the Chubby Cherub channel when I was doing my own playthrough for Kingdom Hearts. Because there's so much like popular Disney music. And anytime I... It, it would kind of like flag me or, or give me that like warning of a strike. I'd have to kind of cut things a little differently so that the music was less noticeable. <laughs> um, and that's really the only game that's given me a really hard time was the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Um, and then, like, it, it'll pop up again on occasion. I, I think it hit me once for, like, Near Automata. Um, being that I'm not there for when uh, Gigi uploads these videos, I don't know what other things he might have to change from time to time, but I haven't really heard any complaints from him. Other than, I know there's one um, as Dust Falls video, I think, if I remember correctly, just would not be allowed on Twitch. For whatever reason, Twitch would not let him post it. Um, but we are fine here on YouTube. Okay, here's that. You, uh, you really do have to just hold it up. Oh, you can pass that bone. Okay, that's great. Is it gonna shoot right at the end? Get faster, jump up, no? Is that it? Did we make it? 
Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. <laughs>